Hello everybody, Luciano speaking. Oh, this project is coming nicely. The little timing discs outside of the magnets, they are four millimeters by two millimeters. And they're really short pulses. Then here is the circuit with the run battery, the battery for the hall and these two switches here they whoop and whoop they're the two batteries that are switched on and here is the hall sensor and I give it just a little start and there it is it's running and I took some time to yeah to try and tune out tune everything with the moving the hall sensor which is the most difficult now we're running in 20 milliamps at 8 volts 24 23 and as soon as it takes up speed it's going to be spinning at about 250 300 rpm uh, it's going down now it's about 200 and when it's a two it reaches 250 it's still going down the faster it goes the more it goes down in the consumption see we're at 17 now and if we let it run another it's going to be between 15 and 16 more 16 than 15 but it's as soon as it reaches the speed that's quite nice now the back mf is used to charge a battery this one and it's was really empty and you see it's a uh, three digit after the dot so you see how it's going up and it's working nicely yeah now we're on 16 there's some 59 coming sometimes now it should be no not yet and well yeah you see there's it's around 16 milliamps let's say which is not bad for 280 300 rpm now the disc in front is a timing disc i printed it here you can see me printing it it's got 16 little holes for three millimeter magnets and it's going to be six millimeters thick so the magnets just fit in but i'm only putting in the first time eight magnets in in it just to do it like Doug Conson does see here it's nearly finished well it's about half of it, it takes 11 hours to print it really takes a long time and yeah here it's nearly finished it's already got this thickness of six millimeters and you can see in the middle it's still the well, the shaft is still printing. Well, that's for the timing disc. Now, this timing disc here. Well, here we are we're at 16, yeah, 15 to 16, 59, 16 to uh, milliamps. That is still the old timing disc. Now, I put in eight magnets and we're going to put the hall sensor in front of the first timing this the big timing disc now this is quite difficult it's a real pain to put that hall sensor at the right place i think i have to find another mechanism because there it's only well that's wrong here now and you can hear it's not running really round now we still have to move it a little bit yeah holding the camera is not helping now i'm trying to do it slowly and you'll see yeah well now it's running nicely and i still gotta fine tune it a little bit see if i can get it down but wait a minute we only have eight pulses per revolution and we used to have 16 with the other disc now 
it's not I thought it would consume half of it and the magnets are smaller the other are four millimeters in diameter these are three millimeters in diameter but they're six millimeters thick the others are only two millimeters thick so here I think this spot can be it it's yeah it's not easy it's not easy yeah it's going down a little bit 18 17 18 eight let's say 80 milliamps and the battery is still charging it's charging even a little bit better i would say than the with the smaller magnets okay the back mf might be a bit stronger yeah well it's going up i mean that's for sure and we're running yeah 17 18 milliamps now yeah now we're going to try another rotor you see i made another rotor without the extra timing disc but five millimeters thick this rotor is only i'm talking about the rotor not this timing disc the rotor in the back that's only two millimeters thick with two millimeter thick magnets now the other one will have five millimeters see that's the rotor that's the two millimeter rotor with the timing magnets and it runs very nicely and now the other rotor is here it hasn't got timing magnets but it's five millimeters thick see so that ought to have stronger magnets it might be two and a half times stronger so look at the consumption I mean with the stronger magnets we're down at 13 milliamps between 12 and 13.5 milliamps we're not as fast and it still is climbing I'm trying to feedback now because we're taking the back EMF from you can see the back EMF here I added a little neon you can see it so you can see the back EMF right here and see we can take it away well no I didn't put it in the wrong place now we can see it see when I as soon as I touch the thing it goes down to 11 10 9 10 yeah so we're if we feed back we're around 11 between 9.8 and 11.5 milliamps for this rotor for this motor which I think isn't too bad now between 9 and 10 milliamps but we have 16 to 18 if we don't feedback if we want to use the back EMF for something else okay that's it thanks for watching